Hi there. In this video, I will walk you through the basics on completing the online notary application. When you purchase a membership package through PAN, you will receive a welcome email from us. In that email, it will give you information to access the member portal. Once at the member portal, you will want to click on the application option that best suits you. If you decide you would rather download the application, fill it out, and send it to PAN, you have that option as well. In this walkthrough video, we're going to select the option, I live or reside in Pennsylvania. You will then be prompted to start filling out the online notary application. Before you start the application, you will need to read the instructions. Once you're finished with the instructions, click Next. Wherever you see an asterisk during this process, that question or section must be completed. As you are filling out the application, you will notice at the top of the screen a numbering system. Those numbers are page indicators. If you need to go back to a specific page, just click the page number. If you leave a question or section blank that is required, an error message will pop up at the top of the screen, notifying you which sections need to be completed before moving on. Once all the information that is required is filled in, click Next. On part one of the application, you will need to fill in your name on how you would like to be appointed as a notary. If you don't plan on using your middle name or an initial, indicate that with NA. Do not leave the suffix section blank neither. If not applicable, indicate that with NA. When it comes to the home address, every applicant is required to list their home address and a telephone number. If you would like your office of record to be your home address, select Yes. Once you select Yes, the employer sections will be auto-populated for you for your convenience. The business name will be NA, and the business address will be your home address. If you select No and you would like your employer business address to be your office of record, you will be required to fill in the business name, address, and telephone number. Once this section is filled in, click Next. On part two of the application, you will first be asked about your education. If you have taken your education through PAN, select the first option and click Next. If you have taken your education through a third party, select the second option and then click Upload to Certificate where prompted. You can click and upload the certificate or drag and drop in the space provided. Click Next once uploaded. If you have not taken your education yet, select the third option and click Next. PAN will hold your application until the education is complete. If you have education scheduled from an organization other than PAN, please provide the education certificate once completed. Click Next to continue. Next, you will be asked to answer a series of criminal, disciplinary, and legal questions. Please read and answer these questions accordingly. If you answer yes to any of these questions, you'll be prompted to upload details on why you check yes. Make sure you provide all supporting documents and a detailed explanation on why yes was checked. Click next once this section is complete. If you have a name that could be perceived as a nickname, for example, your legal name is Bob, not Robert, or Sam, not Samantha, you will need to provide a copy of a valid form of ID proving you're using your legal name. Once uploaded, click next. If you don't have a name that is perceived as a nickname, click no, then click next. Lastly, you will read the applicant affidavit, type your name how it appears in part one, date the application for the day you are completing it, and click review application. Once you review the application and are ready to submit, click on the submit button. After you submit the application, this thank you message will pop up on your screen. You will receive an email from us notifying you that your application has been submitted. You will also receive a separate email within two business days from a PAN member services representative notifying you it's been received. If you still have questions or need assistance after watching this video, contact us. Give us a call, send us an email, or live chat with us on our website. See you next time, and as always, thanks for watching.